Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada, where it is incredibly windy. <laughs> Man, somebody drove by and then all of a sudden I heard this <laughs> all these little stones hitting our windows and hitting the side of the, the condo here. Ooh. So it's pretty, the big trees are just uh, going here, but uh, we are safe inside in my art room, <laughs> my happy place. So I am so excited today to uh, put on the Creative Escape. Uh, we have a fun fold here today that I got from Dawn Griffith. Uh, she's kind of a, an amazing, amazing <laughs> fun fold. Um, card maker and so this is kind of a fold that she used and of course I'm gonna be switching it up and putting my own spin on things that's for sure and uh, so I'm excited to show this uh, or share this with you and of course like always if you uh, participate along with me here then you can um, win a chance to win the card that I make today hello Ethel Good to see you all the way from New Jersey. So just like Ethel, pop on, say hello, tell me where you're from if I haven't met you. If I haven't met you, my name is Jen and I do all things Stampin' Up. I love their products for paper crafting. Hi Amy. Uh, and a Amy can attest to this too. She loves all the products, how they coordinate. So if you have soft suede cardstock, you have soft suede in your pattern paper and soft suede ink and soft suede um, ribbon, they all coordinate and it makes it so simple to paper craft. <laughs> so yes, that's what I love to do. I've been doing this for about eight and a half years and um, no regrets, <laughs> none. It takes a lot of time, I will say that, but you know, it's fun time. It's like, you know, getting to play all day. So, all right, last week's Creative Escape card was this neat fold from Lisa Curcio. All right, so we, this was the fold. And so, of course, we had some people that um, made this fun fold. And so we are going to pick one of those people who submitted their project to win this card. So let me just switch my screen over here. All right, so these are the people who gave this a try and I will be posting all of these cards on my blog later today so that you can have a look at all these amazing projects because they are worth looking at and worth seeing all their fun ideas. So let me just move this up just a tad. Okay, here we go. Are we ready to spin, spin that wheel? Oh, I need the sound, especially at the end. <laughs> Congratulations, Evelyn. Evelyn's on my team. I'm so excited that she is going to get this card in the mail. So congratulations there. And a big congratulations to all of you who participated in that challenge. Um, it was a neat fun fold, a little bit different, um, but lots of fun, that's for sure. Hello, France and Norma Jean, good to see you. Oh, and here's Linda, you love my scarf. It is from our team member, Della. Della's in Canmore right now. She allowed me to pick one of her amazing, amazing scarves. Wow, the woman is uber talented, uber talented. <laughs> she was telling me about the process of making these scarves and she makes other kinds of scarves as well. I forget the name of the, the, what, the techniques, but oh my goodness, incredible, incredible. So uh, yes, I am honored, absolutely honored to wear one of her, her scarves. Hello, Karen. And Mary Ellen, all the way from Windy, Montana. You're windy there too. Oh, so wind. Yep, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy here too. All right. Well, I'm gonna put this away, and I'm gonna switch my screen here. Think, think, think. There we go. 
So today's fun fold. I'll show you an example of a card that I used with, well, if I switch my screen this way, you'll see even better. <laughs> Good morning, Melissa. All right, so this is a floating gatefold card from Donna, Don Griffith, sorry, there's a Donna Griffith and there's a Don Griffith. So this one's from Don, amazing lady. Do, 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 do. And these little pieces go floating on by. Now, I didn't follow her instructions to a T, because of course I have to switch things up and make them my own. But this is with the feature of the week from last week. So I just love how those little inside pieces are moving and uh, you can decorate it however you want. So of course this week's feature of the week is the Hello Ladybug bundle, which comes with a fun, fun stamp set along with a punch. So if you don't have, um, we have had wind all winter, getting tired of it. We are already, already in fire, no, in fire danger already? Ay, 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 that's not good. Well, good thoughts are being sent your way. <laughs> All right, so if you don't have a stamp and cut and, and stamp and cut and emboss machine, uh, this set comes with a punch. So you are in luck. This is a great one to snag, and it's actually fairly inexpensive when you kind of look at what all the things that you can do with it. And I don't know if you heard me say, but on Monday I had a play day with this set, this set, and I came up with 16 different cards. Love it. And I could have kept going. <laughs> Time was my restraint, that's it. I, oh, thank you so much, Karen, for sharing this video. Um, yes, if you uh, find these videos helpful, give you some ideas and whatnot, it would really help me out if you could share this video and like and send out a whole bunch of hearts when you see something amazing. It just helps with Facebook algorithms and gets, this, gets these videos out there. All right, so this is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna make a gate, floating gatefold card. All right, so if you didn't get the measurements and things ahead of time, I'll kind of run through them, but they are going to be on my blog later on today so that you can um, have a, a better look at them. All right, so our first bit is our card base, which is measuring eight and a half by five and a half, and it is scored at two and one eighth on each side. So slide it into your trimmer, do, 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 flip it over, slide it into your trimmer, two and one eighths, do, do, do. there we go. <laughs> and uh, you are ready for your card base. And of course, it's kind of like the gatefold. So if you get these measurements down pat, you're gonna use this over and over and over. Hello, Debbie, good to see you. Oh, Michigan, welcome, fancy. All right, our next layer is going to be a piece that goes on the inside of the card. So I chose to use designer series paper. You can use a colored cardstock. You can use a colored cardstock with, um, say, an embossed layer. The the world is your oyster. 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 Kevin always says it wrong. <laughs> now I'm going to say it wrong. Hello, Gina. So there's that layer. Then for the outside, so we're going to be folding this together. We're going to need two pieces that are kind of mats for the outside layer. And these are measuring two by five and three eighths. Then over top, we want to, you can leave it at that, absolutely. Or you can layer on another piece of designer series paper, or you can stamp on it, or whatever you want to do. And these two pieces are measuring one and three quarter by five and one eighth. Then let's just stick with the outside here. You're gonna need some kind of main feature. So I already decorated mine. I used a, a layering circle, one of the largest ones with the scalloped edge. I also used this, oh dear. Forgotten already, um, that neat die. I also embossed it with that hive embossing folder. Can you see that? The texture in there, isn't that cute? And then of course added a bee instead of the ladybug with the vellum wings and the 
leaf and cut out those little flowers from the set and then added a little saying there. So that's going to be the front of my card. So you can decorate your front of your card however you want that kind of coordinates with your paper, coordinates with whatever you want here. All right, so that's gonna be the outsides. The insides, there isn't really room to write in this card, I will say that. So an option you can have is to actually put in some layers here along the sides. You can leave them totally empty if you prefer. But these, if you want them, are two pieces measuring two by five and a quarter. You could also stamp decorations to make the inside even extra pretty, that's for sure. Um, or if you're wanting, just make another piece of cardstock that's four by five and a quarter and just put it on the back like so. So then you could write on your card on the back. All right, or if you're one of those people that, you know, all I wanna write is my name, <laughs> name and who's who it's to and my name, that's it. This is a great card for you. Hello, Donna, hello, Holly, good to see you. Thanks, thanks. All right, so now for the inside, some more things we are going to need. You're gonna need, need these little mechanisms to help the little pieces float. So two pieces measuring at one by five and a quarter and then we're gonna score at quite a few places. So one, two, and four and a quarter on both of them. All right, and like I said earlier, if you don't get these measurements, they will be on the blog later on to review. And then um, if you're interested, you can kind of do some layering pieces uh, that go on the inside mechanism. So uh, I chose not to. I chose to do something totally different and wacky, surprise, surprise. But I did one of these, oh dear, scalloped layering. What's this one called? Scalloped contour dies and put a sentiment in there instead of just using a square like Donna did. And then I just, you know, added a few things here. But you can use, if you're not, you kind of want to stick with the plan. What you can do is have a mat that's two and a half. That kind of sits on there. And then if you want a little piece that goes over top, like so, and that's measuring two and a quarter. So two and a, two and a quarter square plus two and a half square. All right. So I'm gonna use one of these squares for one of the little mechanisms. On the bottom one, I'm going to use one of these leaves. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we'll play around with some different different things. But this is what you're going to need if you want to just kind of stick with it. So the simple, the simple as possible, just do some squares. You can stamp on them. You can put all sorts of things onto them. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. This is going to be a fun card to make. All right. So let's start off with how about the outsides? So I'm gonna get my two mats here and some glue, my adhesive. I'm just gonna be using liquid glue today. And let's glue these pieces onto our card base. So there's one. And it just has a tiny, tiny border around the outside. All right, so it's not the typical kind of quarter inch extra, it's an eighth of an inch. Just be aware of that when you're, when you're going to glue. That's why liquid glue is so fun, because you can kind of have some wiggle time to get it in place before it's totally set. So there we go, there's our front. All right, so this black, I don't, I don't know if you know, actually comes from the daffodil set. So we're using this side of the paper for the inside, but the opposite side I'm using on the outside. So then let's just make this a little more fancy. And of course, because I'm gonna be making bees as opposed to the typical ladybugs that you kind of first off think of when you uh, create this, or when you see this stamp set. We are going to make some bees. 
I did some alternate ideas, of course, um, which I hope to show you tomorrow. Alternate ideas for this set. And later on today, I'm hoping to show you a bunch of cards that I made without the bugs. You don't have to use the bugs if you don't want to. They still make absolutely beautiful cards without them. All right, so there you go. There's my kind of outside right away. Um, on the inside, let's take our fancy designer series paper. I'll keep those all together. Now I guess these daffodils kind of go more this direction, so I'm just gonna kind of pay attention to, to that. How's everyone's morning going so far? Can you give me some thumbs up if you're actually crafting along with me? Or, uh, or let me know, are you just watching today? Or just kind of watching for this. All right, so there's that. I'm also going to be putting in two little strips along the side. I think I'm gonna going to try that this time. I didn't do that on my cactus card that I showed at the beginning. Um, but I, I do tend to I tend to ramble on and on in uh, cards. So I need that extra space. You make me want to buy stuff. I am so sorry. That is my plan, Gina. But I know you're, you get to order from your daughter. You're so lucky. So uh, your daughter is the Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You're just watching and enjoying. Awesome. Okay. Have you made this fold before? Uh, Norma Jean and Linda, have you tried this floating gatefold before? This is the first time I had given this a whirl, so I'm, I'm excited to do this. All right, so before I get everything put onto the inside, I'm actually going to decorate those little flappy pieces. So I, this is going to be on the inside on one of those mechanisms. I've got a mat of the white along with that free celebration paper, the marble, marble paper. And I'm also going to use this stamp set, uh, Biggest Wish. I love that the font is fun. I love that it's big. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to use this Hello. If I can, yep, here it is. Let me get a little block to put that on, the hello, and I'm gonna stick with the black and kind of yellow theme. Not for you? Oh. I'd buy from you if I'm, aw, you're so sweet. Wish I was crafting with you, but I'm watching at work. Shh, don't tell, don't tell. Melissa's being sneaky. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just put a hello stamped on here with the memento black and then I'm actually going to keep this out because I want to stamp the wee little my friend on the card or the inside of the the card now it gets tricky once your mechanism starts happening here it gets tricky, but you can stamp in these other areas, which is kind of fun. I can't see the comments. Oh, hmm. can you swipe one way or the other? Sometimes that helps. All right, so I'm going to go in here over here. Hello, my friend. Right there. So it's easier to stamp before you put in those other pieces. Hello, my friend. I want to add. <laughs> so I previously uh, stamped these little flowers in Calypso Coral and cut them out. Simple to cut out. They're not a big, not a big deal. And so let's add. Come on. Brand new glue. Don't get stuck on me. Whoa, Nelly. That one's going to be stuck. <laughs> All right, let's add a little flower there and add a little flower on here. Just to make that extra cheery. 
And then I think I'm going to put one over here right beside my friend so it doesn't get lost. Okay. So that's going to go like that. And then down here, I'm going to have my leaf on that mechanism. And um, I was thinking about putting one of these little daisies down here. So what I did was already stamped and cut it out with with scissors, but I want to make a second layer to kind of make it a little more um, fancy dancy. So I'm going to get a piece of basic white. I don't have any scraps that are quite big enough at the moment. And I'm going to use so saffron and I'm going to show you a little trick. So here we go. So saffron, this paper is um, bumblebee, but I like that it has little hits of so saffron in it. So it's kind of a, a lighter yellow. Okay, so there's my little daisy and I'm gonna put a little insert of the Calypso coral and this actually, this little inside piece comes in this set. So you can stamp that inside there or the daisy stamp coordinates with the medium daisy punch. What I was gonna just show, yes. I'm getting out my Calypso coral to tie all these colors together. Or this is fun just to just make little flower backgrounds. There I go. It didn't quite hit the middle exactly, but it doesn't matter. It's uh, handmade, not homework. That's my saying, right? All right, so here we go. If you have this medium daisy punch, all you got to do. Now, the only thing with this is that it doesn't, you'll see now, it doesn't go exactly. Okay, so you, it's not going to leave the little white border like, that you normally have. It um, snips it out inside of that. See the difference? Okay, but it's fun to layer up those two pieces. So... Let me just put a little glue here and kind of put those petals opposite. And it's just kind of fun. All right, I'm going to put that right there. Add a little something. And then I want to make a bee. And yesterday I showed on my blog two different ways on how you can make the ladybug. Um, most of you preferred no outline and so what I'm gonna do is show you how I made the no outline items okay so oh, I didn't get a big enough piece of it what I'm gonna do is take a scrap piece of paper this is so uh, no bumblebee and I'm actually gonna punch out that little bee body right right out without even stamping on anything okay Next step, I'm actually going to stamp the uh, body again, but do that with the woo, basic black. And that's going to help me with my stripes. And then for the wings, I am only going to be doing vellum. So just get your vellum. There we go. Punch yourself out a set of wings. And here we go. All right, so now I'm going to take my paper snips here and I'm going to just cut myself some stripes so I, I kind of like them curved a little bit because it makes the body look a little bit round some people just put them straight either way totally up to you what you prefer so there's one little stripe and then my next stripe I'm going to leave out of it so what you could do is make two B's while you're doing the one um, one set. Okay, then this one's going to go here. And then I'm going to leave this one out of it. And then this little piece is going to go on his bum. Okay. So let's just glue all these parts on here to the body. This one goes right up near that head there. 
And then I've got this. Got a little extra glue crazy here. That's all right, it's gonna be stuck, right? Yeah, it's an easy idea. A little something different. And there, there's my little bee. Keep, you can keep these little pieces and make another bee. And keep the little head if you wanna make something different. All right. Now we're gonna attach those little wings on there. So what I was, I have been doing is just running a little strip, thin, 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 <laughs> thin strip of the multi-purpose glue. And there we go, it's gonna show, um, that's just the nature of vellum. But I don't know if you saw on my Monday uh, post, I showed you with the little ladybugs with pearls. So, you know, if you want to add a little string of pearls or some uh, rhinestones, that helps kind of cover up that little little portion there. Um, I suppose, I don't know, I could probably go back and, eh, nah. All right, and then I'm going to be putting the little ladybug on top of this leaf I was gonna pop it up but I because it's on the inside of the card I think I'm gonna just put it flat there and then maybe I'll uncrook it because this might have to go in okay there's my little ladybug not ladybug bee my bee all right, there we go. This is gonna be fancy dancy. Okay, that's glued, that's glued. Okay, so now we're gonna play with the mechanisms. So you can get one out. Now on this, this is gonna be hard to see, but one end of the mechanism is a one inch score and the other one's gonna have a one inch and a two inch, okay? So this side has two score lines, this one has one. We're gonna start off with the one inch score line okay and we're actually going to put glue uh, yeah i'll use this one glue on just on that one inch piece and we're going to lay this down right up to that fold the score line the one two and one eighth remember that lay that there now just be mindful of you don't want this piece hanging out of your card right so make sure that it's in a spot that's going to allow for this piece to stay on the inside of your card. Okay, so we're laying it straight, straight across, lined up against that score line. And let's straight, hopefully I'm straight, we're just going to close that flap. I always think it's going to be so hard when you see these things and you're like, well, I don't know how I'm going to make this little piece here. But there we go. It is... So far, so far, so good. Now, this time, on this last piece, this last one inch, we're going to put glue on the top. And we're actually going to fold it over. So we're folding it. And we're going to lay it straight. Just lay it straight down. I probably should have... Um, I should fold these pieces the next time I do this along the score lines just to help it kind of fold up properly. See, I should have. Okay, so there, we've got our little step ladder here made that we can put this little piece onto. Hello. Cool, hey? All right, let's do this one more time for the bottom. Okay, so this time let's just give these a little bit of a squish it'll help it kind of uh, form to the pieces a little bit better now this time we're going to just have to go backwards so we have the two score lines on the right left hand side and we have the one 
on the right, we're gonna add a little glue just to that one inch piece. We're gonna line it up along the score line, being mindful of making sure this B and leaf or your square stays inside the card. Let's move it up just a little bit. Okay, so we've got it lined up. It looks straight to me. Let's just close that flap. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. If you wanted, you know, the yellow, that probably would have been a nice idea and then it wouldn't show up so much uh, to use yellow instead of the uh, black, but totally how it goes. All right, so now we are in the right place. Next, this last one inch piece, we're gonna put glue on the top and fold it back and then just lay it down where it naturally is gonna go. Give it a little moment to dry there. And then when you kind of open your card, you've got two, two little steps. Awesome. All right, so now it's time to kind of put these pieces all together. So we are going to add our hello. So it fits exactly. So I'm okay to put glue all over this step. Let's just put this down. Once again, being mindful that this piece doesn't come off the card, out of the card. See how it goes. Hello, my friend. Hello, my little friend. Okay. And then for this one, I wanted to add this little leaf. Now this little leaf doesn't quite go to the that end, so I'm going to be mindful of that when I put the glue on here. I think I'm going to stick more to this side and more a little bit in the center, just, just to make sure. You like the black contrast, yeah? All right, here we go. Just lay this down. We don't wanna make, we don't wanna have glue on, say, this little bee's bum that kind of uh, gets onto this lifty piece, so just be careful of that. All right, do, 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 do. Okay, and when you close it, it's bumpy. <laughs> it's very, this was very bumpy because I have this kind of popped up. So this piece has to kind of lay on top of this, plus this extra B, plus the leaf. So it is a little bit bumpy, but that's okay. All right, so there's that. There's the inside. Of course, I could, you know, stamp some more flowers up here. I could do all sorts of things if you wanted to decorate a little extra. Or like I said, you could just leave those black. And um, there you go. All right, so my front piece now, I'm gonna put the big finale on, which is this. So of course, I'm only going to put glue on a little less than half. You could also use dimensionals if you prefer to pop this layer up. But there we go. Let's lay this down. Give it a good squish. Remember, we're only putting half the card. We wanna make sure, because if you put glue over here, it's gonna stay shut and all that work you've done on the inside to make it pop is not gonna be for anything. So, isn't that cool? Wow, we jazzed this sucker up. So once again, if you just had a stamped image on the front, you could do just a stamped image there, a stamped image there. Um, you can add a sentiment on the front or not. Wait until it comes, you know, you could put your sentiments on in there. You put, oh, it's, the, the ideas are endless. Now I will say um, the card that Don Griffith made were those little cows from a little while back. So just think about that. We now have otters, we had goats, um, we have those little cars, um, all sorts of ideas that you could have that, you know, you open up and they could be just little, little things there that are so fun. Okay, so 
what we're going to do now is if you make a card that is this floating gatefold, make sure you take a picture of your version and uh, send it to me before the end, uh, before, let's say next Wednesday night, and you will be entered into a draw to win this fun B card. All right, so I'm giving you the opportunity to kind of go outside the box if you haven't tried this fold. If you have, I'm, I'm giving you a chance to go outside the box again to, uh, you know, use some different products that maybe you haven't played with in a while. Um, and of course, if you saw something today that would kind of piques your interest, especially this Hello Ladybug bundle, uh, feel free to contact me and I can help you get all those products into your hands and you can make beautiful cards to, to send uh, smiles on people's faces just like I do. So, all right, the pigs, yes, pigs, hedgehogs. If you don't have this, this set, can you make one with, yes, oh yes, you don't have to use the ladybug set. I, no, you get to use whatever products you have. I love seeing the variety, that's what I wanna see is uh, how do you use this with the stuff you have at your house? Um, so that's, yes, use whatever you've got. All right, what else is happening at the Artsy Fartsy Gallery? Well, tomorrow I'm gonna be putting on a few more card ideas, those alternates. So I tend to, you know, think outside the box a little bit and like to create different things that uh, aren't so typical, if you will. And today I'm going to show you a bunch of cards on my blog that are not, that don't have a bug on them. And hopefully you saw yesterday's cute card with the shaker card. Do I have it here? No, not a shaker card, a slider card with a little, this little ladybug, this one, goes boop, boop, <laughs> he slides back and forth. So it's so much fun. Lots of ideas, lots of ideas. All right, so yes, just like Kathy, if you came in a little bit late, no worries. There's always the replay and a way you can always make sure you see one of my videos when they get posted is to go to my YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button and the bell. And that way, whenever I post a video, which I always do take the, the Facebook Lives and put them over there, um, then you will be reminded of when a new video comes up. The nuts and bolts, yes. Oh, so many ideas. Love it, you guys are, you guys are super smart. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. All right, um, if I don't see you beforehand, I hope you have a great weekend. And um, next week's feature is going to be a surprise. You'll get to see that, what's coming out on Monday. What we're going to play around with next week so um i'm excited for that too i'm always excited getting to play is so much fun <laughs> all right have a good weekend everybody bye